Okay, welcome to uh, the Advanced Thailand Technique video series number two. This time we're going to be discussing another topical subject. In fact, this is one that we got feedback about when we put up the Leap and Hike at Step Yards. Yeah, so if you go to the, the YouTube site, youtube.com forward slash Advanced Thailand, you'll see comment number two, somebody asking us to speak about the Extended Crossover Step. Yeah, obviously this is the one that's in the Championship this year, the Extended Crossover Step. A bit different this year because uh, it's the one with the slight travel, so it is a bit more complex, but... Uh, We'll do our best to unravel it. Once again, quick uh, word of warning. This is Gareth and I's own personal opinion. It's not the opinion of us and in the technical committee or anything else. But uh, it's our spin on things. It's how we danced it. It'll be how we'll judge it as well. So, uh, mm -hmm. again, if you can try and bear that in mind when we're chatting about anything. Okay, probably a good place to start, I think, would be starting with just the basic crossing and trying to build it up into yeah, the extended, then the extended with a bit of travel. So, do you want to kick that off? Yeah, basic crossover. Um, that, that forms the basis of everything that's, that's going to be danced here. Got your shading. You, I'm, I'm going to read from the book, um, and then we'll put the, the script up. Same as we did last time. You hop point to second position. You hop take the foot up to the rear, then passing the foot round to the front, through third aerial position and down in front of the supporting leg. You spring, take the other foot up to the back, and you hop and point. So that's your basic crossover step. Foot goes up to the back. It's round to the front, down in front during the spring. Other foot's taken up. The third rear aerial position. Yes, and that's, that's a spring point. point. It's a spring to displace. Spring to displace, yes. Yeah. It's a spring to displace on the basic core crossover yeah. step. So building up into the crossover then with the extension, this is the one without the travel this time. Yeah. Uh, you build that crossover with extension, again coming back to the book, the book says exactly as above, simultaneous landing from your spring, you're going to extend to second aerial position low. So you're at the back, you're going to then go round to the front as you did before, down in front of the leg, spring, and on that spring when you land, Staying to second aerial position low, hop and bring it into third aerial. So, so, so quickly to recap on that, it's exactly the same. So it does come to the back, softly around the front, and then uh, down on the extension. Yes, so on, the, come, on the spring, spring is to displace. So it comes down the front and then it's a spring to, spring to displace, but yes. this time it goes to second aerial low mm -hmm. and uh, not just a spring up to the back. Correct. Okay, so moving that one step forward this time into what we've got in the 2010 championship step is the, the one with the slight lateral travel to the side. Yes, and again the book works this in quite a nice way. Um, slight lateral travel may be introduced by springing to third crossed instead of displacing. So the only change we'll have there, instead of displacing, i.e. you don't land on the spot, you're round, you start at the back, round the front, down in front of the leg, and when you spring, you spring to third crossed, when you land, you're in second aerial position low, then you hop in again. So again, that's quite 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 clear again from the book and well from the way we used to dance as well. But mm. uh, it's the same crossover movement round the back, round the front, down the front. Then of course the slight lateral travel and the yes. extension because I, there was a lot of talk recently at some of the lectures I've been at again mm. about uh, just taking it round the back and then actually front. missing you know going front and then actually missing going down the front, but mm. just actually going from the front. Springing directly spring to cross, cross, yeah. yeah. The book is very, very clear. You build up from one. The first basic crossover, you, just, you go down the leg. Next crossover, you go down the leg, but the only change is you extend the second aerial, um, second aerial low, and uh, the one with the travel, exactly the same, but instead of displacing on the spring, you spring the third cross. So, so looking at that from, I guess, the judging point of view on that, if, if we're judging and we see people not actually trying to attempt to go down the front, but just blatantly missing out the front, going from third aerial position, missing out, going down the front, just going straight across to cross her out. Technically that was a technical error. Yeah, technically speaking it's not correct. That's the point. It's the same as making any other technical error. It'd be like doing back steps without any slides. It might be um, dancing toe heels uh, not in third or fifth, toe heels wide or toe heels without missing a heel. So it's not something you would necessarily take five marks off, but you would you would note it on your sheet. Yes. Uh, you know, the crossover step, missing going down the front. So you would take that into consideration in the overall points. Yes. So uh, I think uh, what we're trying to say is uh, if you are practicing that, uh, try, and, try and get down the front yep. before you're doing the cross. Same as last week then, if we go out to the, the studio and uh, we can give this a go. I think you're going to try and dance it this week. I did the one the last week. Yeah, you know, my turn this week. See how we get on. The fling was always your favourite dance, so yeah. it should be good fun when we get to the studio. See you in a minute. Okay, to the studio now for the extended crossover with the travel. So Gareth's going to try and demonstrate this. Probably demonstrate just slowly. First of all, count at mm. time, and then we'll have a few goes uh, dancing through it to see exactly what we want to do. Things I think I would point out to. Uh, the main thing is try not to get too tight when you go obviously round the leg and down the front yeah. because it is quite easy to 
took yourself up on this step as you're actually doing the slight travel and obviously you don't want to trip up but it's, uh, that's uh, just asking for marks to be deducted so that's the one thing I would probably do. Plus don't travel too much, it's slight travel so mm. don't exaggerate travel, just a uh, small, bit, small bit of travel. Okay so we'll yeah. try and build this up uh, count by count. Yeah what I'm planning to do as well like we did inside I'll, pl I'll start off, I'll show the basic crossover once, I'll show the basic with an extension once, then we'll go into the extended one again just to show how it builds. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, starting off with the basic crossover, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and again. 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's as the book, round to the front, down the front, display, spring to display, and round. Okay, building this up into the extended crossover, this time without travel. 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and once again. 5, 6, 7, 8. So quite clearly we can see Garth going round the front, down the front, and then the extension to the side. Doing the same this time, and this time we're going to have the slight travel to the side. 5, 6, 7, 8. And again. 5, 6, 7, 8. So again, quite clearly we can see coming round the front, going down the front, and then the spring to displace the second aisle low. It's two or three there. Okay, Gareth, that was uh, well done. It's quite clearly demonstrated. I thought uh, showing it quite clearly going round the front and then down the front before extending it to the side and the basic one as well. So I hope this has uh, been a lot of interest this week and I hope it's been a good topic to go over. What we're looking for in these video technique uh, that we're putting up on the YouTube is uh, feedback, mainly from people saying, what do you think, then? what would you like to do next? Mm -hmm. This is why we did the crossover one. Someone said, can you do that? So all feedback, uh, positive and negative, greatly appreciated. Yep. And, uh, we we'll look forward to doing the next one. Yes. Okay. That's it. Yeah.